All right, new fallout tonight from a viral video showing a Vacaville police handler punching a canine trainee in the head. KPIX 5's John Ramos has reaction from a professional dog trainer and the SPCA. Now, if you've not seen the video yet, a warning. It is hard to watch. Thanks to the internet, the video has been seen by animal lovers all across the country. And now even those who work with dogs for a living are weighing in on it. The clip lasts just a few seconds. A Vacaville police canine handler straddling a dog lying on its back and punching it in the head. The man who captured the video says he saw the officer hit the dog perhaps 10 times. But a department spokesperson said the dog had just attacked its handler when he attempted to take a toy away from it. The canine lunged an attempt to bite the handler. And that's when um, the action, swift action, needs to take place to let the dog know that the handler is in charge. But the San Francisco SPCA responded, saying the idea of establishing dominance in dog training is a notion that has been debunked by science. Let's be very clear what we're seeing in this video has nothing to do with training and learning. It has to do with intimidating and, and threatening and not with actually learning the behavior that we want the dog to do. Arthur Deke teaches dogs for a living, and 11 week old Bella is already a prime student. When he watched the video, Deke had the same reaction as a lot of people. He's already got him pinned, and he's submitted. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of horrible. Deke is often called upon to turn aggressive dogs around before their owners give up on them completely. So he stops short of condemning the officer in the video. He's holding him down. I think he's already got him submitted. That looks, eh, I don't know. But if a dog's regularly biting people, he's going to get put to sleep. If someone doesn't help him understand, look, you can do anything but bite people. He says most dogs want to please but lose respect for handlers who treat them unfairly. That's why he has his doubts about the notion of showing a dog who's boss. I think you have to establish you're the teacher. I don't think you have to brutalize an animal. I don't think that's necessary. In Berkeley, John Ramos, KPIX 5. And the dog trainer acknowledges that given their jobs, police dogs may need to be taught a higher level of aggression than normal house pets. Meanwhile, Vacaville PD say the canine has been placed with a third party while the incident is investigated.